Before we get into today's video, I've got a very quick message to share with you. This Thursday, the 5th of May at 6 p.m., I'm gonna be hosting a group ride and in real life from the Clitheroe Ribble store. So this only really applies to, to viewers from the Northwest. If you wanna be involved, the ride is limited to 30 spaces. So if you do wanna join us, you've gotta be quick. The details are on the screen right now. You need to call this number to reserve your spot. We're doing just under 30 kilometers at a very, very leisurely pace. We're not gonna be dropping anyone. Super last minute, I know, but if you wanna be involved, sign up quickly and I'll see you there on Thursday. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday morning and today I'm heading out to meet an old friend of mine who just so happens to be Britain's first ever World Cup slalom ski winner but before i get to the meeting point exactly one week ago today was the rutland sickle classic this is how my race ended yeah. front wheel front wheel hey, further up just up there just there front wheel front wheel front wheel, front wheel. Yeah. sadly i punch it out of the main bunch at 50k to go i punch it at one of the gravel sectors which it makes it so hard to get a wheel and to get back into the bunch just due to the nature of the race with the small narrow roads riders get dropped and team cars find it difficult to get back up to the race and overtake riders so basically long story short i had to ride five kilometers on a flat wheel but all was not lost finn ended up winning the race overall which makes it the team's second ever uci road win stewart got fourth Ollie spent the day in the breakaway and picked up all the preems and we won the team classification. So overall it was a successful day for the team, just not so much for me personally. But tomorrow starts the 2022 Tour Series. We go there, my team Ribble go there as the defending champions from last year. And this year I've been granted permission to use the GoPros on my bike during the races, so that's gonna be sick. I'm so excited for that. But that's tomorrow, and today I've got a couple of hours steady just to get ready for the racing. So let's go find Dave and get on with today's ride. I feel like day in Costa del Lancashire here, Cam. Nice, isn't it? Costa del Lancashire. I feel like uh, we're, we're, we're both never here at the same time, so like today's, yeah. today's a rare occasion, right? Come rain or shine. Yeah. We're out. Oh, funny story, actually, I've just remembered. So me and Dave both went to the same school, albeit Dave was a few years. Yeah, just a few. A few years before me, but in the sports hall, <laughs> they've got like a hall of fame for like basically ex-students who've gone on to do, yeah, things in sport. And I'm I'm on that board, and so is Dave. I mean, I feel like Dave's more yeah. more reason for him to be on the board. But anyway, we're both on the board, or both our names are on the board. There's a picture of Dave skiing. And there's a picture of me cycling, but it's not actually me. It's my teammate. So <laughs> I think we both know who was the sporting great from our from our high school. But how are you? I'm all right. I'm a bit cold, to yeah. be honest. No, I'm all right. Getting the cycle legs going. It's been a bit of a busy year for you, hasn't it? Since the last time we uh, yeah we were out together. A few slopes, ski down. Yeah. So uh, obviously this year you won won at Kispel, which is arguably the biggest. The biggest slalom oh, yeah. race outside of the Olympics, is that fair to say? Yeah, you would say that. That was like my Olympics, to be honest. Yeah. I peaked there. Yeah. Didn't get anything back for the Olympics. Yeah, so did that feel like a long time coming? So I think you were what? Third, you've, you've had a third before, that was, that was obviously your first. Yeah, I was actually first second. First World Cup then. win. Second, sorry, yeah. Second in 2017, but I never managed the top step. But. Yeah. And yeah. Did, like, did you know deep down, like, did you think I could do this or. Yeah. Uh, yeah, after that second I was like, I've got the speed to win, but yeah. doing it. Yeah. It's like smashing my head against a yep. concrete wall for five years. Yeah. So to finally do it was uh Was yeah. it did it feel like a, a relief more than anything? Uh, no, I wouldn't say relief. No, it just felt like the icing on the cake to be honest. Okay. It felt like yeah, finally. Yeah. Finally done it. So what's next then? You're in your off season now? Yeah, Got a bit, try and, bit of time off. I try and hang, keep up with you on some hills, I think. <laughs> if I can get up Ashurst Beacon within a minute, I think that'll be as big as a Pittsfield win. Uh, watch this space, maybe we'll have to time trial Ashurst. Annoyingly, it's the first wet day today in about two weeks, and the camera decided not to play ball and work for the, the whole ride, apart from the, the ride home. 
but gotta head back home now see what georgia and cali are up to but also prepare and pack my bag to leave for racing tomorrow look he's there waiting oh i'm locked out i'm locked out let me in open the door the key's there please hello hello how's life Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually relaxing. Hey! Again. Hello! She is fast asleep. I haven't even shown this on a video yet. So, Shimano, what are you playing at? Thank you for snapping. It's literally snapped off. You see that? Boom. That could have been really bad. Yeah, so I was mid effort last week riding down a dual carriageway. Luckily, I was on a bike lane next to it and I just managed to save it. I came out of like a little junction, stood up, put some power on the pedals and uh, it just ripped straight off. So shout out to uh, Shimano Juros. Could Def have been nasty. Definitely not getting a sponsorship now from them. Oh, we got a clip actually. I'm gonna play a video, a clip from Chris Pritchard's video who got the back facing GoPro on my bike. And this is what happened. Cue Chris. <laughs> Coming up to this junction, I need to give Cam a little bit of space because, you know, I'm right on his wheel here and I don't know what's going to happen. So I slow up a bit, give him a bit of space, go through this junction and I'm starting to press on now. He's out of the saddle, he's pressing on them, boom, look at that. You didn't even see it, did you? You didn't even see it. Let's have it again in slow motion. Out of there. Bit of a wobble, boom. Do you see that there, bottom of the screen? That's Cameron's crank arm. It's not loose. It snapped off. <laughs> She's sat down. What are we thinking to the beard? Sexy. I mean, George's mum likes it. She says she likes it, so. <laughs> Do you not think I'm the more important one to judge that? So, I'm on a little bit of a mission this afternoon. Obviously, I haven't got uh, a power meter at the minute because as you just saw in that previous clip, it snapped last week. Now, I'm not too fussed about riding and racing without a power meter, but, but for the Tour Series, because I've got permission uh, to use my onboard camera within the races, I want to do some like videos where, you know, I'm going to incorporate the onboard camera footage and it'd be great to have some kind of telemetry overlay within them videos. So, and without a power meter, I can't do that. Now, I haven't got a spare power meter at the minute. I'm in the process of getting one sorted, but my sister, I think, I'm pretty sure my sister has two power meters, one on her race bike and one on her time trial bike. Now she's not using a time trial bike at the moment. So we're on a mission. I'm gonna go get her time trial bike and I'm gonna try and borrow, borrow her power meter without her knowing. And I mean, I don't think she'll realize unless she watches this video actually, but yeah. Hey, we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when it arrives. Let's go and get a power meter. Okay, we've walked into an issue. Here is the time trial bike. But there's no power meter on it. Now, where could it possibly be? So we've run into a little bit of a problem. My sister has got both the power meters that she owns and they are both on her and she is not at home at the minute. So that option is out the window. However, on my brother's bike, I've just noticed there is a power meter on this bike. It's a giant Pro Power Pro. Uh, I've never actually heard of this power meter before, but it is a power meter nonetheless and the cranks are 172.5 which is what i ride so that's perfect he had an operation on his shoulder a few days ago so he's not going to be doing any cycling anytime soon the goods have been secured so just giving the bike a quick once over and, and a wash uh before it gets too dark and it is pretty much ready to go the only thing we need to do right now is change the cranks to put some power meters uh power meter cranks on there obviously we've got these giant power pro dual sided which are meant to be i mean i googled them and apparently the quality of them is pretty good they were dead flat and i didn't have a charger so i used the power of instagram and said it's a long shot but does anyone in the northwest have a charger for these and yeah shout out to the preston peddler to come through with a charger we've managed to charge up the cranks they're flashing green i mean they might not even work but I'd, I'd, i'm not gonna know that until i put them on the bike i also need to change the chain rings to the ones that are on my bike currently because at the minute these are a 5034, and I don't think a compact chain set is going to be too good uh, racing 
35 plus mile an hour around corners. Callie is keeping an eye on proceedings, making sure everything is done correctly while she's chewing a stick. It's the simple things in life, isn't it, Chick? Okay, so it looks like a total mess, but that is the power crank with the 53 tooth chain ring. That's the other crank. That's the bike. Let's get this thing on there and test it out. Bosh. So the Wahoo found the power source. Uh, so, so far, so good. So I've come out onto the road and I'm just gonna give it a quick spin up and down the lane just to make sure it's working and just for peace of mind that we're gonna have power data for tomorrow's race. Is it gonna work? Yeah! Woohoo! Sweet! I think we're all good. I think we're ready to race. I really had to go and get my bob on. Yeah, I get my bob on. If she needs some good, good. Tell her she got hot on. She know I'm the top dog. I know she got hot on. But listen, on the feet. And you know I got the socks on. Yeah, I get my 